The Book of Mormon's going to cover about a thousand years of Nephite history. And there's going to be a few times in that where there's moments of big generation gaps. And this is the first one. Okay. So Jacob has grown up first as his family was fleeing Israel in the wilderness. Um, and then he runs from place to place. The generation that's growing up, the generation of his son Enos, they've just sort of lived in this new world and are used to sort of the way things are. And so we have a couple chapters where Jacob is reflecting as he's talking to his people about roots and mm -hmm. fruits, about the past and the future and how God works across big scales of time. Then one of the most important things to Jacob and his brother Nephi, who's passed away now, was this hope for a, a chosen one, a Christ, who's going to come and redeem the land they used to come from. Okay. You're going to have a guy named Sherem from this new generation say, is that belief still important to us? Is it, is it even going to happen when you tell me hundreds of years from now to a place that I will never see a Messiah is going to come? Okay. And so that's the other part that we'll read about. <laughs>